The term chronic is not well defined and not very helpful when we use it for orthopedic pathology. When most people use the word chronic, they simply mean persistent. The symptoms have been there a long time. When they use the terms acute, subacute, and chronic can vary person to person. So when those periods start and end can be different from person to person, making the term not that valid or helpful when we try to understand what someone's trying to say when they invoke the word chronic. Medical professionals may use the word chronic when they refer to something such as, such as central sensitization, when a local problem is no longer the only problem, but now there's some dysfunction in the body's ability to kind of understand and synthesize pain, and now we have that problem in addition to the original problem. What I want people to hear me say today is that chronic doesn't necessarily mean irreversible, or it doesn't necessarily mean that the problem is gonna take a long time to reverse. Chronic, or the word persistent, which I like to use, does absolutely inform the diagnosis and the prognosis, but it doesn't necessarily in and of itself mean that the prognosis is poor or fair. Many patients who have symptoms for a long time are simply misdiagnosed and or mistreated. So if patients who have had symptoms for three years or 15 years see a clinician who understands and approaches the body differently, they may get a diagnosis and therefore a prognosis that are really good. If the diagnosis is something that this has been a persistent problem for a long time, but it's actually a very fixable problem quickly, then the prognosis is excellent despite the fact that symptoms have been around for a long time. I encourage people, therefore, who have chronic or persistent symptoms to not throw in the towel necessarily and to seek diagnosticians, seek clinicians who approach things differently likely from their prior clinicians. If you keep barking up the same tree as you were prior, you're probably not gonna get better results. You probably need a different eye on these problems if you've been to several clinicians so far and the chronic symptoms or persistent symptoms are still there. Yes, it may take longer if it's a specific diagnosis or if because the local problem has now created sequelae and secondary and tertiary problems, the prognosis could be longer. But for many people, I see them and they have chronic or persistent symptoms and it's still a relatively quickly or rapidly fixable problem. So even if your symptoms have been there for a while, I encourage you to seek different clinical opinions because perhaps it's something that can be fixed relatively quickly.